Right-wing radio host Mark Levin went on Fox and Friends, and he made a hilarious claim about the Democrats. Dakota, North Dakota doesn't really have uh, an unemployment problem because of fracking. That's correct, which, of course, they're attacking. Of and course. the rules yesterday that Obama put out unconstitutionally. It's an attack. You know, the Democrat Party used to stand for blue-collar workers. They used to stand for coal miners. They used to fight black lung disease and things of that sort. That's the Democrat Party I grew up understanding. Now it's this hard left radical party. And now they're putting these men and women out of business. They're attacking middle class is, Americans. Is, Mark, is that why Debbie Wasserman Schultz the other day uh, and a couple of days earlier had such trouble trying to explain to Chris Matthews and to Chuck Todd the difference between the Democrat Party and the Socialist Party? Because they don't want to tell the truth. There is a difference. The Democrat Party is to the left of the Socialist Party. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it hilarious when I th say things that are false? <laughs> These guys are ridiculous, man. The Democrats are to the left of socialists. The Democrats are to the left of socialists. Mark, the problem with the Democrats is not that they're too far left. The problem with the Democrats is that they're too far right. And your party, the Republican Party, is damn near fascist. We're talking about religious theocrats. We're talking about pure authoritarians. Today's Democratic Party, I mean, look at the policies they propose. The policies that they propose are the Republican policies of the 1980s and 1990s. That's literal. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. For example, on global warming, they proposed cap and trade. Cap and trade was the Republican solution to stop acid rain. It was a free market solution to, the, to a pollution issue. So that became the Democratic position and the Republican position on climate change is, it's not real. Get off my lawn. Obamacare, healthcare. Obamacare is an individual mandate system. First proposed one version of it by a guy named Richard Nixon. Later on, there were policy papers written about it by right-wing think tanks like the Heritage Foundation. Newt Gingrich and Chuck Grassley and other House Republicans supported that kind of legislation, an individual mandate. Well, uh, the Democrats had to abandon the, what they really want, or what they're supposed to want, which is Medicare for all. They even had to abandon the compromise position, which is public option, to get the only thing they could get through Congress, which was the old Republican plan, the individual mandate plan. That's what Obamacare is based on. That's what it is. So there's, there is no factual basis to say that today's Democrats are to the left of socialists. Oh, please. The furthest left politician that we have in America, you could argue is Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren or maybe Alan Grayson or somebody like that. And these guys are not even socialists. These guys are well to the right of socialists. Now, Bernie Sanders might refer to himself as a socialist, but if you go strictly by the political science definitions and terms, it's clear that Bernie Sanders is a guy who doesn't want to scrap capitalism and start from scratch and do a different kind of system altogether. No, he believes in a Scandinavian type system. He believes in a system where you have uh, efficiently regulated capitalism with safety nets and with, you know, a, a proper mix of socialism and capitalism. We're not talking about somebody who's r really a socialist in the purest sense of the term here. So think about, I mean, these they just don't know what the fuck they're talking about when you look at Fox News, when you look at the conservative hosts like uh, Mark Levin. I mean, they think they're so smart, they think they're so bright, but... If, I wish anybody would push them on this garbage. I wish somebody would push back and just say, that's an interesting claim. Prove it. Back it up. Give me any evidence whatsoever that today's Democratic Party is to the left of socialists. My ass they are. How ridiculous a comment that is. People overseas uh, oftentimes talk about how there is no real left in America. Where's the fucking left in America? This, you know, the uh, Bill Clinton, President Obama, Hillary Clinton, I mean, these are people who are, you know, at best, centrist, pro-establishment corporatists. But in reality, I would even argue they might be center-right establishment corporatists. Where's the real left in America? Are you kidding me? FDR would scoff at this Democratic Party, be like, ha! You call these guys socialists? They're not even liberals! So, he's just dead wrong, but... Just last thing real fast. <laughs> Even the thing about fracking is ridiculous. Uh, you know, the Democrats, eh, they're against fracking. Eh. Apparently my Mark Levin impression is the same as my Ted Cruz impression. 
Uh, but he says, oh, they're against fracking because they don't want the jobs. Huh. Yeah, that's it, Mark. You got us, man. We're against jobs, which is why we proposed the stimulus plan, which is why we wanted to do a new New Deal, which would have created more jobs, which is why we're constantly standing up for the poor and the middle class. No, you're right, man. We don't want uh, jobs. It's that simple. No, Mark, see, it's a little bit more complicated than that. You know it's more complicated than that, but you're actively avoiding the nuance because you're being disingenuous. The reason why people on the left, including myself, oppose fracking is because, oh, I don't know, it's been proven in study after study that it causes fucking earthquakes, and on top of that, you poison the water supply, and people have to uh, leave their homes and their family farms because they start losing their hair and getting all these different skin rashes and lose tremendous a tremendous amount of weight and have all these health problems. Maybe that's why we're against fracking, but no, I know. It must just be that we hate the jobs. We're against the jobs. No, uh, it can be much more complicated than that. For example, I'm very pro-jobs, which is another reason why I'm against the TPP. I want those jobs to stay in America. Um, but am I for all the military-industrial complex jobs? No, because those jobs are tied to killing people unnecessarily overseas. So, it depends what kind of job you're talking about. If your job is to build missiles that I don't think we should be building, sorry, find a new fucking job. By the same token, if somebody's paid to go out in my front lawn and uh, clip the yard using nail clippers, I'd say, that seems inefficient. I'm going to have to fire you and bring somebody in with a fucking lawnmower to do so. It's not that simple. Oh, jobs! They're against jobs. It depends what kind of jobs we're talking about. If your job causes earthquakes and poisons the water supply, fuck your job. Find a new fucking job. Okay, again, these things should be obvious, but in the right-wing bubble, it's just slander Democrats, throw mud as much as possible, and make shit up.